welcome to my channel. I'm Shady Kitty Mystic, and today's pick a card reading is going to be all about who has a crush on you. So, who's into you? Why are they into you? What do your spirit guides think of this connection? And a little bit more info that we can gather, any extras. So, take a moment to tune in to your intuition. You might want to take a couple deep breaths just to clear your mind. And then pick a pile that you're drawn the most to. So this is for pile one. We have the smoky quartz crystal. Pile two. We have the soldite. Pile three. Amazonite. And pile four, lapis. So when you're ready, click on the timestamp in the description box to go to your reading. So welcome to your reading, pile ones. Let's find out who has a crush on you. So we'll start by trying to figure out who this person is with our two tarot cards. So we have the Hierophant. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So to me, this is definitely indicating an Earth sign. It could be a Taurus, could also be a Capricorn or Virgo. Lots of Earth energy in their chart, though. They could be the leader of a group or connected to a group in some way. It's possible if you're part of any organizations or any communities that there's someone within this community. I'm getting someone with a high standing within the community. And this is someone with holes in their pockets. Um, this is someone who spends a lot of money. They aren't someone who holds, into, holds onto and stores money. They're someone who spends a lot. And I'm also getting, too, that they might be very tall. So you can start thinking about who that may be in your life. Let's figure out why they're into you. Sun and light. So that's pretty straightforward. You shine to them. You're like this beautiful light being. There's even two lovely ladies in this card. Um, and the number six, which is the number of the sun. So you may be really naturally abundant or naturally lucky. Just fortune kind of follows you. I'm getting like you have a really high level of confidence, or at least you kind of exude confidence. And I feel like you're very put together. Your outer, outer appearance always looks great to this person. And there's a lot of light to you, so you may be a light being or a light worker. Yeah, so that's what I'm feeling for why they like you. And let's see what your spirit guides have to say about this person. So we have Dancer of Promise. And Ancestor of Hope. Cool, so these are both very hopeful cards. I'm seeing that they think this is a good person for you. It's not necessarily on one side or the other, you know, like, doesn't necessarily show that they're for sure going to come towards you. Um, but there's a lot of promise in this relationship, in this connection. There's a lot of hope for it from your spirit guides. And I'm getting a lot of forward movement. So if this person does come towards you, this is something that would really move you forward in a way, move you more towards your life. So let's find out a little bit more about this connection, what's going on with this person. So right now with the Ace of Cups, they're gathering energy. They have a lot of intuitive hits to come and talk to you, to speak to you, and they're just kind of like building up the energy right now, building up the emotional 
wherewithal to go for it. Oh, and we have the Six of Cups too. So they're very naive about this connection. They have a very playful take on this. Um, yeah, I'm getting they have like a very playful love for you. They want to look after you. They want to put their trust in you. And they're definitely deeply in their feels with two water cards coming up. They're feeling lots of emotions for you. And there's a very like light vibe I'm getting overall to this reading. Like it's not a heavy relationship. If this were to become a relationship, it's not heavy. It's very light. Okay, so they could be having dreams about you. One second, let me just close the window. Always noises here, it's just unavoidable. Okay, so they're definitely dreaming about you with the astral world, the overworld coming up. They're being guided towards you. Like I said, they're getting a lot of intuitive hits about you. You're definitely appearing in this person's dreams, maybe in their daydreams as well. They're fantasizing about you a little bit. But I'm getting that they're like facing a lot of issues in their life with their five of swords. So while they want to come towards you, there's like a lot that's kind of weighing them down personally. They don't really feel light enough right now to move this forward. I'm getting if something does happen, it's not going to be immediate. Um, because right now they're really in this Five of Swords energy. They're just exhausted. They've been relying on themselves for a really long time. They feel like the world is against them. And they don't want to bring that energy to you. When they come to you, they want to be playful. They want to be light. They want to match what they're seeing in you, this beautiful sun, shiny energy. So I do feel there's a little bit of a delay between you guys. I'm gonna pull two more cards for this connection. There's lots of promise here though. Like, you guys would have a good relationship. Doesn't necessarily indicate like long-term or short-term, but it would definitely be something that would make you feel really good, really playful and youthful again, excited. This person really sees the best in you. Okay, so right now they're kind of like building up their energy with this Eight of Pentacles. They're building up their focus and their confidence to come towards you. They could also be facing, like, chasing kind of a material dream right now, trying to gain more money and build up more of an abundance for themselves. Um, I definitely feel this is a person who really likes money. They're just not necessarily the best with it with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And then here we also have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So they're definitely worried about you. Like they're worried about how they're going to come off about you. They're kind of have a lot of anxiety holding them back. They may be scared of facing negative criticism or rejection. So they're kind of taking their time. They're really building themselves up. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys, pile one. You can let me know in the comments if this felt like it resonated or related, or if you know who it is. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Welcome, pile twos. Welcome to your reading. Um, if you pick the Solidite crystal, this is your pile. So let's find out who has a crush on you and why, as well as some more information that will come as we go along. Okay, so let's see who this person is with our tarot. 
So we have the sorceress. So this is someone who's very spiritual, very divinely connective. They operate mostly from their intuition. It could be a Virgo or a Pisces as well. This is someone with a lot of spiritual knowledge and a heavy focus on the spiritual world. And if it's not spirituality, it's just knowledge in general. They're like a seeker type personality. They're always trying to learn and gain more. And a lot of it is through their own personal experience. And then we have a four of wands in reverse. So they could be a little bit of a liar, a little bit fraudulent. Someone who kind of like talks themselves up to be better than maybe they are, or maybe kind of spins the truth, exaggerates. Um, you know, those people who kind of just like add in all this stuff that didn't happen into a story to make it sound better. That's what I'm getting for you. And there's someone who really wants their growth to come from their, themselves. They're very self-oriented. Yeah. So let's figure out why they like you. You can start thinking about who this person may be in your life. Ooh, they like you because of fury and bushfires. So I'm getting you're very hot. Um, you have a very attractive personality. You have a lot of fire energy to you. You may be a fire sign or just like very fiery. And yeah, like you have a lot of action power. You have a lot of energy to do things. There's kind of like this fury about you that is just very magnetic to this person. I'm getting like lots of energies for you guys. Lots of movement. That's what they're seeing in you. It's also possible that if you have shown this person yourself angry or you've shown this person when you're frustrated, that they find it like cute and adorable. They're drawn into it. They're not pushed away from your expressions of anger. They like it. They find like you can match their energy. Maybe they want to kind of compete with you a little bit. And what do your spirit guides say about this person? So we have Shaman of Sorrows. Okay. And Ancestor of Memory. So I'm getting here that your guides are saying that this is someone who's really stuck in the past. They've had kind of like a difficult either childhood or young adulthood. They've had a lot of sorrows and a lot of pain in their past. And they're kind of operating on those memories. This is someone with a lot of trauma. They may have repressed memories as well. So I feel like what your guides are saying is to kind of be cautious with this person. It's not necessarily um, a bad thing. It's just something to be aware of if you are going to engage with this person that a lot of what they're doing is acting from this place of sorrow. They have a deep sadness within them this could be partially why they kind of spin the truth with this Four of Wands card. Why they're one to kind of hide things or make things seem different than they are. It's because they're hiding this pain about them. It's probably what has also driven them to be such a spiritually minded person. Usually people go to spirituality in a time of need. So this person has lots of spiritual energy. They're very divinely connected, and it's probably coming from this place of sorrow, from these memories. This could be someone from your past as well. You could have memories with this person. So let's find out a bit more about this connection here. Cactuses may be significant for some of you. Okay. So I'm seeing here there's a need to have this kind of balanced perspective about this situation. 
to see that there is some negatives with the temperance card there is some negatives to getting involved with this person but there is positives as well so it's important for you to kind of like step back and look at them very objectively when they come towards you if they come towards you don't let yourself fall too far to either extreme either being too scared because of this sorrow because of this path or being too excited and not realizing that, you know, you are maybe getting into something a little bit deeper with this person. I'm getting too, because they're super spiritual themselves, that they're probably taking a more passive approach. They're kind of waiting and biding their time here. You guys may find that working on a project together or some sort of business endeavor is very auspicious. One of pentacles, if you don't know, auspicious just means like lucky or good, basically. <laughs> it could be wish fulfillment here, like they see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as everything they've kind of ever wanted. Whether or not that's accurate or not, you'll have to kind of use your objective perception to decide. But that's what they see you as. You're their wish fulfillment. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse. So this person definitely does not have a handle on their emotions. They could be a bit manipulative as well. I get the sense that this is someone who is really trying to avoid sadness and avoid their pain if possible. So because of that, they're a little bit emotionally unstable. They're not necessarily grounded here. So it's something to be aware of. This person carries a lot of sadness and a lot of emotions. See? Yeah, kind of decide how you would feel about that. If that's something that you're capable of inviting into your life and you're interested in working with. Or if that's something that would put a strain on you and feel like a burden. Okay, so there's some upheaval that is happening for this person or for you right now. Some shifts are changing, especially under the surface. Um, they're either going through a really chaotic point in their life or this could be you as well. I'm getting like something needs to be left behind in order for them to actually come towards you successfully. Something needs to be ended. Something needs to be over with completely. This could be for you as well. And I have the sense here that they're really building energy with this Eight of Wands in reverse. They don't necessarily have the energy to come to you right away. But there's kind of building energy in this connection. The support and probably the um, attraction between you two as well is kind of slowly building Right now, they're pretty depleted, though. Whatever change or shift is happening in their life, their energy is depleted. And so that's why there's this kind of need to be patient with this person, if you are into them as well. There's a need for patience here and understanding. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys, pal twos. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you wanted to let me know if it resonated or related to you, or if you know who this person is, definitely comment below. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>
So welcome Pile Threes, welcome to your reading. Let's find out who currently has a crush on you. So we'll start with our tarot cards to figure out who this person is. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So here's the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So here there's lots of watery energy to this person. It doesn't necessarily mean they're a water sign per se, but they have a very watery vibe about them. They're also someone who has a lot of vices. They're a very indulgent personality. They may like to party, they may like to drink a lot. I'm seeing someone who smokes, drinks, smokes weed. Maybe they like to go to the shooting range. They have a lot of indulgent habits. I'm getting they also like dress very nice. And then with the Ten of Cups in reverse, this could be someone who isn't very connected to their family or could be like an orphan type person, someone who has a disconnected relationship with their birth family. Someone who really lacks belonging in this world. They're kind of a loner personality. They can handle a lot of things themselves. I'm getting like they're very fun. They're very vibrant. They're like kind of like a life of the party personality. But um, at the end of the day, they're happy to be by themselves as well because of this kind of lack of family connection here. They may just kind of keep everybody at a distance not let people get too close to them or like the truth of their heart. And then why do they like you? We have depth and lake. So I'm getting you're like a still waters run deep type of person. There's a lot more to you than meets the eye. You're very deep. You probably don't really like shallow conversations or talking about basic things and they find you very intriguing. There's this level of mysticism to you, this kind of still calm exterior with a lot going on under the surface and it's really pulling them in towards you. They really want to know about you. I'm finding like this person is really trying to learn as much as they can about you right now because they're just so intrigued. And I get the sense that you have kind of a very soft, a softness to you that is very attractive to this person. You're welcoming, you're inviting. You're very kind. That's what they like about you, so that's nice. <laughs> okay, let's see what your guides have to say about this person. Dancer of lies. Okay, so right away, that's not very good. And spirit of wisdom. Okay. So yeah, what I'm getting is this person has either already lied a lot to you or that they have a tendency to lie. They may be kind of a compulsive liar here. Especially with all these kind of indulgent habits, they may be one to kind of hide what they're really doing, where they're really going, who they're really speaking to you. There's someone who struggles a lot with things like addictions and vices. They could just be like minor hideable addictions, not necessarily life destroying ones, but they have a lot of them. And they'll kind of dance around the truth a lot with you here and your guides want you to be aware with this person. This is like your warning sign that they could be lying to you already or they might lie to you a bit. So there's a need for you to use wisdom here. Use your discernment with this person. Question what they say. Don't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to let them know that you're questioning what they say but be aware that it may not be the full truth and use your discernment, use your wisdom, 
and be wise. I know that's like the same thing I'm just saying, but there's a need to be wise with this person. Decide for yourself if this is something you really want to get entangled in. I'm sensing too, like, they have a lot more to them than meets the eye as well. Well, they struggle with all this kind of indulge in habits and things like that. Your guides are saying they do have a lot of knowledge for you. You would definitely gain from this relationship, but not necessarily in the way that would be 100% joyous. It would be kind of like a learning experience if you were to engage with this person. Let's find out a little bit more about this connection for our pal threes. some intense energy here <laughs> right away this is a lot of intense cards mostly in reverse so we have the eight of wands in reverse so this person really depletes their energy they waste it they have a lot of wasted energy again I'm going back to these indulgent habits that they have they kind of just give up all their energy to vices While they're not very connected on people, they rely on other people to build up their energy. They don't really have their own personal connection or personal way to develop energy within themselves. They kind of take it from other people. Could be a little bit energy vampire vibes here. Then we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So they're a very combative person. They're always on the defense. They're definitely going to protect their habits. They're definitely going to protect themselves. Um, again, with this kind of disconnected personality, they're not afraid to lose people. They've already don't have much connection to begin with. They don't really get very deep with people. So they will be defensive if kind of like approached head on. They'll protect themselves over others. With the Ten of Swords in reverse, this can indicate a negative self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you're already having negative thoughts about this, or you're having negative thoughts about relationships in general, this could be why you're attracting this person in. If you already have like negative beliefs that people can't be trusted, or relationships are kind of like painful and a hassle, this could be what is drawing this person towards you. Or your relationship and how you feel about this per person, if you're feeling negative about them, it will kind of create that situation that you're worried about. The more you're focused on the negative, the more you're focused on these limiting beliefs, the more this person is focused on the negative, the more you're going to draw that into reality. Your worries and their worries are manifesting here. And then we have the tower in reverse. So this is indicating to me that this is someone who is really resistant to change, but they need it. They're really resistant to kind of letting something else take control. You know, the tower is kind of when the universe steps in and sweeps something out of our life for us. So with this, what I'm seeing is that this person wants to be in control. They want to be the one deciding when things come and go. And they really struggle with things like tower moments. They really struggle with accepting shifts, accepting change. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. 
So to me, this is indicating that you should kind of just be patient. It might be better for you to not engage with this person and to kind of go on your own way. You can be stern. Figure out what you want and go towards it. With this Knight of Pentacles, he is walking in the direct opposite way of all of these kind of struggles and issues. He's going the other direction. My intuition is saying you should not go towards this person. If you do, it will be a learning experience. So of course, take it with a grain of salt. Live your life how you want to live. But the cards are indicating that you might be better off going in the opposite direction. This person has a lot of baggage. And they're not necessarily going to be honest about that right away. Like, you may just kind of like find out more and more the more you get to know them. If you are interested in them, like you already know who this person is and you're like, oh damn, but I really like them. You can always kind of keep it casual. Don't get too into it with them and see, see how it goes. But maintain your independence here. Really maintain your independence here with this Knight of Pentacles. Maintain your armor. Maintain your sense of self. Don't just dive in with this person. Be cautious. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. You can let me know if you want to, if it resonated or related in the comments, if you know who this person is already. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. So, welcome, Pile Fours. Welcome to your reading. If you pick the lapis, this is your pile. So, let's find out who has a crush on you currently. So, we'll start with our tarot cards. This is going to indicate who this person is. Ooh, so two fives. So we have the five of wands here. And then the five of pentacles. So this could be someone that is in the public eye a lot. Like they compete. They could be a sports person. They're a very competitive personality. I'm getting like could be someone that you see at the gym. If you go to the gym. Someone that you're seeing a lot like out in public around other people. And they have a lot of energy for tasks. They're very focused on how they appear to others and winning in front of others. They definitely don't have a lot of money here with the Five of Pentacles. They don't have a lot of material abundance. There's someone who is very focused on lack. They have a lack mindset and mentality. They're kind of negative how they see the world and how they see things. They may be someone who came from a kind of impoverished, impoverished um, childhood. I am getting that they have like a naturally muscly body, naturally toned. They could be Italian, like <laughs> that may only be for some of you here, but we definitely have the Italian flag. Or Mexican. I'm feeling Mexican or Italian. So let me know if that resonates for you. Um, it might not be for everyone. This is general, so keep that in mind. But yeah, this is a very competitive person. And like kind of a show off. Okay, so why are they in teen? We have solidity and inner core. So they find that you're a very solid person. They're very attracted to kind of like your inner beauty, your inner self. It really shines through you and they think it's very beautiful, very attractive. I find that you really inspire them. Like this is someone who isn't necessarily fully stable. They anger really easily. They don't have a lot to them. And they see your kind of like solid inner core and this very 
certain nature about you and it just draws them in. I feel like you may be very like airy or just kind of untethered to the same issues that other people are tethered to. You're able to follow your internal guidance system. You're able to follow your intuition. And they find this very attractive. They're very into you, very into what they see about your inside. I get the sense too that when you make a decision, it comes from yourself, you're very independent, and they really like that. You don't necessarily have that same kind of needing to be seen as good by others or needing to be the winner in front of other people, you are just kind of like certain within yourself. You're stable within yourself and they're just super drawn into that. Okay, so what do your guides say about this person? Dancer of frustration and shaman of song. So yeah, here I'm getting a sense that they're very frustrated, very chaotic energy. They have a lot of anger. They're easily to get enraged over little things, like they get grumpy very easily. And they might frustrate you a lot too, because where you're very stable and certain, this person really needs other people to see them in a certain way. And they're very concerned with their public image. I'm getting this can be very frustrating for you, or this might be very frustrating for you if you were to take it further with them. But they might inspire some like creativity through you with the Shaman of Song. They might inspire you to create something, some sort of art or something like that. Because they have a lot of energy that they can exchange with you. Okay. So let's see a bit more about this connection here. Okay, very interesting. So first we have the lovers, but also followed by the three of swords. So to me, this indicates that in some ways this would actually be a very harmonious connection. I'm sensing that they feel that you may be a soulmate for them. They're very attracted to you, very deeply attracted to you. They really want to come forward and make things work for you. There's a deep potential for love here. This person is just not fully trustable with the Three of Swords. You or them may end up kind of backstabbing the other person, telling their secrets. One of you could be really just like a secret revealer. Kind of shady, very shady energy here. I'm going to clarify this Three of Swords. Let's see if we can find what it's referring to. So interesting to be right after the lovers. Because the lovers indicates like such a harmonious union. And then the Three of Swords indicates shady shit. Let's see. Heartbreak. Okay. So something about their foundation. And one of you being very repressed or stuck in a certain circumstance. So what I'm saying, seeing here is where they might take advantage of you is in terms of finances. They might take advantage of your finances because they don't have a stable foundation in the material world. They feel really limited by their circumstances, limited by where they came from and how they grew up. And so they might take from you or take advantage of you in the money way money or material objects because they feel held back 
they don't really know how to go about it aside from, you know, sneaky shit, shady shit. So that's something to be aware of with this person. You might not want to reveal to them fully how your finances are, especially at the start of the relationship to make sure that they don't, or the start of talking to them, to make sure that they don't kind of start putting all their attention towards you because they want money. You want to avoid that if you can. They're definitely dreaming of you here. You're showing up in this person's dreams a lot. They feel very spiritually connected to you. Their intuition is bringing them towards you. And here, like, this is showing me with the Page of Wands that someone's going to ask you out soon. Like, either you're going to ask this person out soon or they're going to ask you out soon. There's this kind of, like, fun, flirty energy. I'm getting there's a lot of heat between you, a lot of physical attraction. And I think that soon something is actually going to happen. There may be some communication from their part or from your part. And I think you would have fun with this person in a casual way. The Page of Wands. Like, you guys would have really fun, interesting dates. There'd be a magnetic attraction between you two. You just want to be a little bit wary with them. Let's see what else. Okay, so there's a shift occurring here. It's possible that this would be a very transformative relationship for you with the Tower card. It could also be that the Tower is indicating that it might be more beneficial for you to leave these feelings behind, leave this person behind. You have to decide how that relates to your own life and the situation. Whether or not you want to move forward with it or not. For some of you, a tower moment is indicated to leave this person in the dust. For others of you, it's more that a shift is going to occur when you engage with them that is going to change your life in some kind of major way. And then with the Four of Cups, I'm getting that there's kind of like something holding you guys back. One or both of you may be very stubborn kind of waiting patiently to see how things turn out. Deciding between multiple things here. You could have an option of multiple people when they come towards you. But I feel like you both are very set in your ways, which is why this frustration is going to come up, because you're going to butt heads a bit here. So yeah, I would say from these cards, it's not fully on the negative, but it's not fully on the positive either. There is a potential for some shady shit, but there is also the potential for this to be quite a growth-oriented relationship. So you definitely need to think about this person. Think about it for a bit, how much you want to engage with that energy. If that would feel like a burden for you or if it would be exciting and interesting and you're willing to grow from maybe some difficult lessons, maybe some frustrating experiences. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Pal Fours. You can let me know in the comments if you want to, if it resonated or related, if you know who this person is already. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.